here we have 700 minus something equals 400. So, on a number line, we can count back from 700 to 400, and because 700 and 400 are both multiples of 100, we can count back in hundreds. So 700 take away 100 is 600, 600 take away 100 is 500, and 500 take away 100 is 400. So we counted back in steps of 100 three times. So because that makes 300, we know that 700 minus 300 is 400. So 300 is our missing number. But there's an easier way to get our missing number. Notice that 700 and 400 are both multiples of 100. We know that because they both end in two zeros. They both have zeros in the tens and units place values. Well, missing number problems with multiples of 100 are really just as easy as our usual missing number problems. So if we ignore our tens and units, we have 7 minus something equals 4. Now you probably know that 7 minus 3 equals 4. But we can't just write 3 because 700 minus 3 is 697, not 400. So, we need two zeros after the 3 to show that we're not just subtracting 3, we're subtracting 3 hundredths. Do you remember number family triangles? We can have 700 at the top and then 400 and 300 at the bottom because when you subtract one of the bottom numbers from the top number, you get the other bottom number. And that's what we've done here. But if we know this, we also know three other facts. We know that 700 minus 400 equals 300. And we also know two addition facts. We know that 400 plus 300 is 700. And 300 plus 400 is 700. Because in a number family triangle, when you add the two bottom numbers, you get the top number. And with addition, order doesn't matter. And we can see how these facts relate to the number facts we already know. All that is different with what we've done is that rather than 7, 4 and 3, we have 700, 400 and 300. So what do you have to subtract from 700 to get 100? Well, we could count on a number line. So from 700, we could count back in hundreds. 600, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100. We subtracted 100 six times. So that's 600. But without using a number line, we might still be able to answer this question because both of the numbers we have in the question are multiples of 100. So if we ignore our tens and units, we have 7 minus something is 1. Now you can easily work out that 7 minus 6 is 1. But we don't want to just write 6, because 700 minus 6 is 694, not 100. So we need to show that this 6 stands for 6 hundreds. So we need zeros in our tens and units columns. And again, we can draw a number family triangle. And because we know that 700 minus 600 is 100, we know three related facts. What else do we know? Well, we know that if we subtract one of our bottom numbers from our top number, 
we get our other bottom number. So we know that 700 minus 100 is 600. And we also know that we can add our two bottom numbers to get our top number. So we know that 600 plus 100 is 700 and 100 plus 600 is 700. And we can see that because we have multiples of 100 with 700, 600 and 100, our number family facts are similar to our facts for 7, 6 and 1.